Congratulations, Steve. You're celebrating 30 years serving the Delmarva community. Here's to 30 more. Mwah. The category is TV anchors, and here's the clue. This experienced journalist started his career at WBOC in 1987. The correct response, of course, who is Steve Hammond? Hey, congratulations, Steve, on 30 years. All right, Dan, let's talk weather. 28 degrees at the Hammond House this morning. <laughs> it was pretty cold. Before we get into weather, though, I did a little research today here. You did. You're good at research. I was wondering, you know, he started here 30 years ago today. That was a Monday, by the way. Do you remember that? Uh, vaguely. Uh, you, I don't remember what the weather was. I know, I, but I know what the weather was. Take a look at this. <laughs> 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 the low was 46. The high was 60. It was a dry day with no rain. A little bit warmer on that day, and uh -huh. yes, that's an old photo. I'm of afraid Steve. there's more of that stuff to come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. Here's radar out there right now. It's clear across the region. Uh, skies are clear as well. It was cold, mid 20s this morning, and a few spots down near 23. It's going to be cold again tonight, but not as cold as last night. However, with light winds, we're probably going to see a little bit of frost out there. These are the current temps, and I want you to notice. The warm air is coming in our direction. Uh, it's in the 70s in Missouri, in central Tennessee, Huntsville and Alabama at 76, and South Georgia in the 70s. And all that warm air is going to get pushed toward us. We'll start to feel it tomorrow. You're really going to feel it on Saturday with temperatures above 70 degrees. It is a rather chilly night out there. 45 Salisbury in Philadelphia. Boston is at 35. Yarmouth in Nova Scotia in the mid-20s right now. Look at the highs in the plains today. 80 in Topeka, uh, 82 in Little Rock, Dallas hit 86. Uh, in case you're wondering, that's about 15 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of the year in those places. Uh, right now here on Delmarva, 44 in Dover, 38 in Rehoboth, and look at Ocean City Airport, 36. What's going on? Well, the winds are very light out of the northeast, and they're coming across very cold water in the 30s to our north, and that's keeping the beaches in the ice box today. Uh, they're going to be pretty chilly tomorrow while the rest of us warm up, but it won't be quite as bad even on the beaches tomorrow. The west wind at 9 and over southwest at 6 in Salisbury. High pressure will move off to our east tonight. Tomorrow we'll have a south wind, a cloudy spell or two as the system goes by to our north. That wind will reach uh, to the point we'll probably see a small craft advisory on the Chesapeake uh, and maybe even in the Atlantic. But the temperatures tomorrow will jump into the upper 50s and more of a west wind on Saturday. That should allow us to get into the 70s and even warm the beaches perhaps up to near 60 degrees. Sunday, though, the winds turn more to the south. We'll lose a few degrees and the beaches will be colder. Also, a bit more cloud cover on Sunday as it looks right now. The rain, though, should hold off until Monday. Tonight, then, 28 to 30, patchy frost to moderate frost inland. Tomorrow, breezy and mild, a cloudy spell or two, 59 around 4 o'clock, a southwest wind at 14 to 22. There's your Skycast Salisbury, about 59 degrees with a 14 to 20 mile per hour breeze and some high clouds. Uh, leaves are going to start to bud out. I'm already seeing some. Over the weekend, Saturday, the better day, especially for the beach. A little cooler Sunday, especially on the coast. Rain Monday and Tuesday. Back to you all. All right, Dan, thanks. Still ahead here on WBLC News at 6, celebrating Steve Hammond's 30-year career. A lot of our viewers might not know this, but Steve started at WBLC as a fresh-faced reporter. There he is, and our first Dover Bureau Chief. Just ahead, we'll take a look back at three decades of his work, and we'll hear from a sampling of the people he has met along the way. That's next, right here on WBLC News at 6.